ஹலோ ஆல் ஸோ நான் ஒரு லாஸ்ட் செஷன் இன் அ கிளாஸ் வி ஹவ் சீன் அபவுட் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் அபவுட் ஓஎஸ்டி ரைட் ஹவு இட் இஸ் டெவலப்டு வாட் இஸ் தி டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் அண்ட் தி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் அப்ரோச் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் தி நீட் ஆஃப் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டேஷன் ஓகே தென் வி ஹவ் வி ஆல்சோ ஹவ் சீன் அபவுட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஹவு ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கிரியேட்டட் ஹவு கிளாஸ் ஆர் கிரியேட்டட் வாட் இஸ் இன்ஸ்டன்ஸ் ஓகே லைக் தட் வி ஹவ் சீன் Uh, in, a, in this session, we are going to see about system development. Okay? System development in the sense, uh, in object-oriented scenario, we are going to see. Okay? So, in our, in our syllabus, uh, first topic is system development. Second is the object basis. Okay, last class, we have seen more thing about object basis. Still, I need to give some of the uh, notes. I'll give you all later. Okay? So, today, we are going to see system development and the development life cycle that is in your syllabus first and the third topic okay okay um, so okay system development life cycle in the sense of object oriented okay wow. so object oriented process okay uh, it is mainly used for what any life cycle model is used for what for building a system or the software or the product okay like uh, in the last class i have told uh, for building any system okay maybe anything we need to first create the life cycle you people also told me uh, life cycle uh, first starts from the requirement gathering okay then analysis planning design like that you have told right so same thing we have to uh, we are going to see here also okay so first the system uh, see for the first the system to be developed is observed and analyzed and to requirement are defined as in the other method of the system development so first before beginning of anything first we have to requirement gather it okay that is we have mentioned here as the observed and then after gather the requirement we have to analyze with our team members and the customer okay and then defined as in the uh, any other method of the system development once the requirements are gathered once the analyzed are made with the uh, team members then only next step we can proceed it okay for that example they have given they are taking the banking system as a example okay so banking system is the class okay so what are the uh, objects comes in a banking system means um, a customer is the object okay and the check um, book okay va then uh, dd okay anything related to the banking system or the object okay so in term, simple term object modeling is based on identifying the object in a system so uh, object modeling object oriented process or object modeling or object life cycle the main purpose is to identify the object from their main system okay and also once they have been identified the object they has to be interconnect or inter uh, relate with them they has to find out what is the relation between these objects they has to be find okay once everything has been done they will start the design and they will proceed for the coding and the implementation process okay so the basic steps of system designing using object modeling um, first one is the system analyze first we have to analyze this for after analyzed we have to design it once it has been designed we have to design it in the object design okay so once object design has been completed next implementation has to be done okay see this diagram so first one is the user need okay this is the user need so user need that is requirement is transformed into the problem statement that is analyzes once analyzed has been done it has been transformed into the design and implementation details will be given so once design has been completed transformation has go to the system or software product so it will be go like this okay so first one is the system analysis in the phase the developer interact with the user of the system to find out the user requirement and analyze the system to understand the functionality is yes, we have seen many thing about analysis so okay so analysis in the sense what when we will analyze it if you have something in our hand then only we can analyze it right so here so once uh, the uh, developer got a requirement from the customer then only they can analyze it okay that is they have uh, saying it in the first point so based on this uh, system the analyze prepare a method of method of the design system so once uh, every analyzed has been done 
they will start uh, their own model they will they will uh, start their desired model okay so this method is purely based on what the system is required to do details are not take care of okay so everything is purely based on what the system is required to do not the some other thing the system object system is uh, going to do only the model of the system is prepared based on the yeah so once analyze has been done only they will design it okay they won't go to the coding part and the implement part only they will model it that is design it okay, the system is made up of the set of interacting objects yes definitely every system that is class will consist of the many object after object has been um, identified we will interrelate interrelate the objects okay second one is the design so system design is the next development stage where the overall architecture of the desired system is okay design so once uh, we have uh, uh, planned our desired system the analysis phase we have to give it in a diagrammatic representation or the model representation it will be done in the system design phase the system is organized as a set of the subsystem interacting with each other so okay main system is uh, divided into the subsystem that is all uh, that is what uh, object so then it has to be interact with each other while designing the system as a set of interacting subsystem what the analyst has to do they has to care of the specification that is requirement given by the customer whether we are meeting it that they has to be observe it okay at the basic philosophy of object oriented method of system analysis is to precise the system as a set of interacting object a bigger system must also be seen as a set of interacting smaller subsystem that is turn and composed of a set of the interacting object so basic philosophy philosophy in the sense what so it is we it is a written thing okay so every object oriented method of a system analyze that is to precise the system that is it should not be bigger it should not be smaller it, it has to be precise thing okay so when we are seeing the design or model itself we have to understand the whole project or whole system okay that is they are saying in this point while designing the system the system the uh, stress lies on the object comprising the system and not on the process being carried out in the pro process being carried out in the system as in the case of traditional waterfall model where the process from the important part of the system so here main stress lies here i mean in the uh, designing part okay main stress lies on the object only okay not on the process okay so that is what they see in the waterfall model uh, where important um, um, part of the system is the process but um, in our designing model in a object oriented approach our important part is the object right can you understand waterfall model le process is important but in our designing phase in object oriented model le object is important right next object designing and implementation in this phase the details of the system analyze and system design are implemented the objects are identified in the system design phase are designed so here what they are doing so uh, object design in the sense what uh, so previously we have designed just designed the um, um, plan okay the, just we modeled it but here we are going to implement the idea which we have gathered already in the object oriented design model right so here everything will be done in the object oriented model not on the regular model we are doing it right and the implementation of this object is desired as a data structure um, get defined and also interrelation between the objects are defined yeah here also the object is designed as the data structure data structure using data structure model they will design the object and also they will mention the interconnection between the objects here also so design process and understand first a few important terms used in the object oriented modeling yeah same thing already we have seen yeah object oriented philosophy is very much similar to the real world and hence it gaining popularity um, system here also um, seen as a set of interacting object as in the real world to implement this concept the process based structure programming is not used instead objects are created using the data structure so 
as i told i already object object is a real world thing you people also told in our last class object is a real world entities like that you have told right so object oriented is very much a similar to the real world so that is why it is gaining a more popularity in our days so people that's why uh, they are going for the object oriented approach when comparing to the traditional approach okay so object has a real world to implement this concept process based on the structure programming is not used instead objects are created using what data structure as i told in the last point okay so once everything design has been completed a coding will be started and after the coding will be completed uh, all the testing process will be started and last they will implement the thing okay so here we have seen today object system development object oriented life cycle object oriented process like okay how what is object in the banking system we have taken as the class and the objects we have seen certain thing okay then system analysis we have seen system design we have seen object design and we included with the implementation right okay so next comes the class already i have given some notes uh, for you about class uh, along with that you have to write this also right a 